Hey guys, this is Ada coming in to do an update on uh, Iadora. Uh, for those of you who have never watched my videos, um, thank you for tuning in and welcome to my channel. And if you want to know about more about Iodine and my journey, go back and watch the previous videos. But tonight I come in to just do an update, guys, on um, how I'm doing on Iadora. And those who've been kind of following my channel know that I went from taking like uh, two or three drops, a little micro milligrams, up to taking like 12.5 milligrams of Iodora. And then I raised it even more to like um, 25 milligrams per day. But what I'm doing now, this is about the third week. And what I'm doing now, uh, I'm alternating from 12.5 milligrams to like 25 milligrams. What I'm seeing now is better sleep, um, overall feeling a way of being, and I have, I feel like my breasts went down some because I feel like I really needed the iodine, the higher doses, because those who have been, you know, kind of watching the videos and following along, um, one of the symptoms of um, low iodine is you know, fibrocystic breasts, um, fibroids, cysts, um, thyroid issues, low energy, brain fog, depression, all that type of stuff. Okay, I have experienced less depression, guys, because being in perimenopause as a person who's already prone to depression, it was just awful. Some days it would it would almost feel like death, and I'm like, oh my God, what's where? Why do I feel so horrible and hopeless? But since I've been taking iodine along with other supplements, and I think um, personally that the iodine was the missing component for me. But since I've been taking uh, the iodine along with my other supplements and the cofactors. I really feel so much better and I'm so glad that I upped the dosage and I'm also looking at you know my skin has improved the skin texture it continues to feel kind of soft and subtle as opposed to feeling um, rubbery and I've never really had bad skin guys but when I started going through perimenopause it's like there was some changes you know in the skin but I am seeing some improvements there um, more energy i am seeing more energy and i know selenium uh contributes to that too but the iodine seem to balance that stuff out in fact i want to say selenium is like one of the cofactors with iodine don't quote me guys but i i'm, I'm almost certain that because your thyroid needs selenium as well so i feel like as my body get the iodine that it needs I will probably be able to notate some other changes uh, as far as just overall health. So just kind of bear with me as I come in, guys, and continue to update you on the Iodora. Um, and so for those of you guys, this may be the first video. Uh, go back and watch those other videos on iodine and selenium, and then what I'm saying tonight may make more sense to you. But anyway, um, let me see what else do I want to report as far as the iodine. You know, the, the, the larger doses definitely work for me, guys. Definitely a yes for me. Um, just the mental clarity and the just being able to just to think things through a little bit more thoroughly and just control a lot of those negative thoughts. Um, I just think my body was just really thirsty for it and that uh, I haven't had um, what I needed in a while. And, you know, as some of, as I reported in the earlier videos, I've been taking iodine for years, but I never really took this larger dose. I did way back when, when I first started taking it. And I didn't continue, but even that... Um, the minimum dosage, I felt some changes, some uh, changes for the good. I had lost hair, my hair grew back from taking care. And I have all that documented too, if, if you'll go back and watch the early videos. But that is my update, guys. Um, mental clarity, 
Um, I have lost some inches. Um, just and I, I feel like the iodine was just that missing component. Um, Bella rest, uh, better mental health, and which means better quality of life, being able to think things through. And there's some other things that I do as well, guys. And it's like it's been a journey of where I would take a supplement and then later on I would add something to it and I could see results and so it's like you know um, a continuous journey of adding in what you need and you'll tell by the way your body responds if it was just something that one of the missing components like I've been taking like the progesterone and I did have like the good estrogen cream, the kind that I buy to use. I think it's estriol, which is the kind that we really need. Um, and I know this changes then, but it's like I say, it's been progressive. And the good thing is it's been progressively getting better. My health has progressively been getting better. And there's some other things that I'm not going to discuss right now, but I will discuss at a later date. Um, and because I want you guys to be able to um, just see how natural supplements can sometimes be can be life changing. Really, they can. Um, because when I started out a couple of years ago on on this journey, because I've been on the road a long time, guys. You know, I was having some issues with menopause and other stuff going on. And I went to the doctor and, you know, there wasn't a lot of answer. There was a lot of prescription drugs. So, you know, me being me, got back on my research and started, because I already was on natural supplements. But I had kind of slack because I got busy working and just not really taking care of myself, guys. But that doctor reported to me. He said, you know, if everybody would do like you did, you did a... I think he said a 360. He said, you you know, you took control and you did a 360 with your help. So, you know, I just want to encourage other people that, you know, you're, you're not hopeless. You know, sometimes you may be going through a hard time with um, sickness and some type of affliction, but you're not hopeless. You know, a lot of times through prayer and just allowing yourself to be open-minded and willing to take a different approach you can find answers and you have to be an advocate for yourself you have to be the biggest advocate because i tell you um the doctors are gonna do what they've been trained to do um and that is offer you prescriptions and very few will offer alternatives now i happen to have, have a good doctor and he was pretty holistic in his approach but he you know he still had his training. He still had what he believed, you know. And I knew um, how supplements and natural remedies had helped me in the past get out of crisis, right? So I had faith in God first and then everything that he put here that's natural. And that's not to say that people, you don't ever take a prescription. I wouldn't dare say that, you know. But just, you know, do your own research, guys, and you know, know what you're putting in your body. And, you know, if you have a doctor that you really feel is um, open to other alternatives, that's great. Because mine was. He was open to other alternatives, alternatives to a point. But anyway, guys, that all, that's all I have to say. But now I'm not going to continue to hold you. But, um. Everything is going well with the high dose of Idor. Everything is going well. I'm thankful. And so if you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them down in the comment section. If this video has been helpful, please like. If you think it could help someone else, please share. And if you think this is a channel that you can grow from, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.